To win the Ballon d'Or, a player usually has to score a lot of goals. But today, I'm going to try and win it without scoring any. I've come up with three ways we might be able to do this. And option one is to be a goalkeeper. But not just any goalkeeper, the greatest goalkeeper to ever set foot on earth, Brick Wahlberg. He is basically 10 feet tall and has 99 on every single stack. I even tried to make his hands bigger, but, but I don't think it's possible, to be honest. I spent a lot of time trying to make him bigger. But what is possible is being a goalkeeper and winning the Ballon d'Or. Lev Yashin did it in 1963, but times have changed slightly. So this may actually be much harder than I expect. Now, Brick Wahlberg needs to be playing on a team to win the Ballon d'Or, but we can't just put him on some random team like Go Ahead Eagles. We need a team with great defensive players only because even if you're the greatest goalie to ever live, if you don't have good defenders, you will get scored on and you won't win a Ballon d'Or. One of our options is Real Madrid, but to be honest, as a Barcelona fan, there is no chance I'm gonna be winning a Ballon d'Or playing for them. That being said, Brick Wahlberg will not be going to Barcelona. We need a team that can win a Champions League, which is why the obvious choice is to join Manchester City. They can win Champions League trophies, and I think Brick Wahlberg rather have Holland on his team than trying to save one of his shots. So with the signing complete, it was time to start season one. And even though he couldn't fit in the net, he fit in with Manchester City right away. He would make some fantastic saves to help Manchester City win the match and get his first clean sheet in the Premier League. But the question is, will he be able to do it all season? Things are going very well for Brick Wahlberg in the Premier League. Manchester City is in first place, but winning the Premier League isn't our number one concern. We need to make sure Manchester City wins the Champions League or else this Ballon d'Or for Brick Wahlberg is not going to be possible. Luckily, Brick Wahlberg has helped Manchester City make it to the round of 16, but they're playing Barcelona, of course. Luckily, this Barcelona team isn't very great. No Lionel Messi here to worry about. It was closer than I would have liked, but we have moved on to the quarterfinals. There's a slight issue in the Premier League right now. Somehow, Onana for Manchester United has more clean sheets than Wahlberg. Not only that, I just noticed that we're playing Manchester United in the quarterfinals. Onana versus Brick Wahlberg. This matchup will show who is the better goalkeeper in the world, which shouldn't even be a competition, to be honest. We've made it to the semifinals. Manchester United didn't stand a chance against this team, especially with Brick Wahlberg in there. Onana, I don't care how many clean sheets you have. You are not winning a Ballon d'Or before us. We played Dortmund in the semifinals, and Brick Wahlberg came up with two clean sheets, winning 5-0 on aggregate. What a performance from our Brick Wall. Brick we're on to the Champions League final. But before we get to that, we have not won the Premier League. We finished one point behind Arsenal. This will make it much harder to get a Ballon d'Or this season. We have to make sure Brick Wahlberg gets a clean sheet here in the final of the Champions League or else we don't even have a chance to get nominated. We didn't get the clean sheet, but we did win the Champions League this season. But that wasn't Brick Wahlberg's only achievement. Man of the match twice, team of the week five times, player of the month once, and 17 clean sheets. But will it be enough to get even nominated for the Ballon d'Or? Not one keeper, not one defender. This is going to be harder than I thought. We need more clean sheets. We need more trophies or else this is never going to happen. At this point, I thought maybe because it was his first season at the club, he didn't get nominated. So I decided to play another season with Brick Wahlberg. And this time, Manchester City won the Premier League, the FA Cup, and the Champions League. And guess what? It still wasn't enough to even get nominated. I'm losing patience trying to win this Ballon d'Or, so I've done a little bit of a modification. Every single player in the game, except Brick Wahlberg, is one rated. Brick Wahlberg is still 99 rated. We need to make sure he's the best player in the entire game. I don't even know if he's still going to get nominated. With every player one rated, it wasn't hard to stop the other teams from scoring, which led to Manchester City easily winning the Premier League. Look at the other four teams. West Ham, Fulham, and Newcastle United. No Arsenal, Liverpool in the top four. That is insane to see. But then again, everyone is one rated. And we have won the Champions League against Salzburg out of all teams. Now it's time to see if we're actually going to get nominated. How did we not get nominated? Every player is from Manchester City, but no keeper. There is no way to win it as a keeper here. I had a feeling that this might happen, which is why I have one more backup plan Brick Wahlberg has been transformed into the greatest center attacking mid in history. His name is Pass Goodman. He has 99 passing and only one shooting. So we don't want him scoring any goals even as a center attacking mid and hope that he can get so many assists that he can win the Ballon d'Or. Honestly, even a nomination would be enough. 
I may be getting a little too excited, but we did finish with zero goals, a lot of assists, and we won a bunch of trophies. This might be the season we actually get nominated. Are we nominated? How did we not get nominated? Oh, this is not going how I thought it would. Or is it? So I decided to give Pass Goodman one more chance at Manchester City. Maybe he just needed an extra year to prove himself. And guess what? He had the best season of his career. How in the world did we not get nominated again? We won every single trophy that could have been won that year. We got 30 assists in 65 games, and we still didn't get nominated. Now with my last attempt, I'm going to where I thought I'd never go, Barcelona. Maybe we can win it here. Lionel Messi won it a bunch of times at this club. Maybe just Man City isn't the place to be. But his first season at Barcelona wasn't great. He would only get 12 assists in 56 matches and lost in the finals of the Champions League. Which meant one thing. Another year without a Ballon d'Or nomination. Who even is this guy? Up to this point, I've only been simulating the games, hoping that I don't have to control the player to win a Ballon d'Or. But I'm out of options. So the final plan is simple. I'm going to spend the next few hours playing an entire season with Pass Goodman, getting as many assists as possible, hoping that's enough to finally win a Ballon d'Or without scoring. As you can imagine, I was averaging three assists a game and we were winning everything. With Pass Goodman controlling the midfield, Barcelona won the Supercopa, the Spanish Cup, and La Liga, making him the player of the season. All right, this is a nice trophy, but it's not the Ballon d'Or, and that is what we're after. And we still have the Champions League to win. So after an undefeated run in the Champions League and breaking every single assist record, Pass Goodman's final challenge was against Dinamo Kiev in the finals. I don't even know how they made it to the finals, but I guess it makes sense because everyone is one rated except Pass Goodman. And they didn't stand a chance. Three assists from Pass Goodman in the Champions League final helped them lift the trophy and make him the man of the match. I'm making it sound like he did it all himself. It was literally me spending hours doing this. I swear this better be worth it. So after celebrating their quadruple in the streets of Barcelona, it is finally time to see if Pass Goodman gets nominated for the Ballon d'Or. There is no way. You're telling me the only player over a one rating who was in the team of the week 24 times and won the player of the month 10 times is not the Ballon d'Or winner? This game makes no sense. If you try this challenge, let me know if you win it. And if you want to watch another video, check this one out. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.